for the days of the seminar, I'll be teaching lightning scientific harness, which is one of the classical traditional systems in the Philippines. Uh, when I say classical traditional, it's something that predates World War II, something that uh, has an established and known, renowned uh, grandmaster. So it's something that has a tradition behind it, and I wish we can continue as a legacy and not just lose it to history. I'm going to focus on baston serrada, which is working the stick in close quarters, and some of the knife techniques that come from that system. I wanted people to pick up the material that was simple and easy to understand over time and something that they can build on. Like It's a good basis to work all the more sophisticated techniques in the future. Uh, I think they picked up on it really well and I think we had a lot of fun. Today was uh, day one of Guru John Escudero here in Seattle on his uh, three-week trip across the states. It was a fantastic day. Uh, overall, he went out over uh, Solo Baston Serrata, which is the rattan stick at close range. We spent a lot of time training against our opponent having two sticks and us only one stick, and also versus Espadi Daga, which is sword and dagger, or in this case, we were using a rattan stick and a dagger. I had a, a great time, I learned a lot. Guru John's a fantastic teacher. Why it's called Lightning Scientific Ernie's? It's actually just the name of the group. Um, the Grandmaster happened to really move really fast. And he's been likened to moving like lightning, like a lightning bolt, really fast. It's striking as hard as a lightning bolt. So this is the attributes that he wanted his group to have. So the group got called Lightning Scientific Ernie's. But that's not really the name of the technology. The name of the technology is Telsia Serrada Cadenilla y Espada y Daga. It really means working in close quarters. When we say tercia, we mean one-third the range. Serrada would be to close. So you're working in one-third range, close up. Cardinale means chain or small chain. So it's a series of chain strikes. You're striking, you're striking. It's a flurry, it's a barrage. You're raining strikes. E espada y daga in sword and dagger. You can be literal, because that's the root of fighting with a sword and a dagger. You can also look at the principles behind it if you're fighting in long range and short range. So it's it, when you expand the definition, it means close quarter fighting with multiple strikes in multiple ranges. Overall, I think today went fantastic. We had a good mix of new students that were coming in and trying this art for the very first time and as well as older students who have a lot of good experience. So I think that those two different levels were able to come together and really everybody was able to take something new away. Guru John went over a bunch of stuff that he hasn't gone over with us before too. So even the people who have been coming to lots of his seminars, like me for instance, we've got a bunch of new material to play around with and practice until his next visit. One of the things that's really helped me is actually like sparring, doing single double stick or knife sparring. It really gives you appreciation for what your attributes that you've trained in and that you've picked up and the way that you can go and time things and have a different experience with each person you spar with. You can learn new things. I think that's something that's super important. It's you know something that we do here at, at MKG is not so much in, in the class or outside. There's a lot of opportunities for you to come in and spar and really play around with the techniques and stuff that you've learned. What's important for me really is doing honor to the legacy. Uh, for the love of the art and you know it's just really fun it's one of those things that I enjoy doing I enjoy teaching I enjoy meeting people that's why I travel I do the seminars and all that because it's a kind of advocacy I want more people to understand Filipino culture my culture and all that and one of the ways to do that is to do the martial arts